news this morning, the mass toll of 40,000 coronavirus cases in the U.S. has caused many governors to put up restrictions. On Monday, Vice President Mike Pence said he's expecting to have more than 5 million Americans tested by the end of this month. Many states are struggling to find the resources for testing. Some states, such as Florida and South Carolina, are easing on restrictions and plan to open some of their beaches this week. During a briefing on Sunday, Trump said, Some governors have gone too far. He also stated, We must not forget that we've saved the lives of tens of thousands of Spaniards and we have stopped the spread of COVID-19, adding that the situation remains fragile. In other news, mushrooms might be the answers to climate change. Kate Ayers, a student of Central Community College in Columbus, made a canoe out of mycelium, the fibrous roots of mushrooms. Mushrooms have many uses, said Ayers, including breaking down harmful pollutants and chemicals. Mushrooms can also be used for insulations and housing and packaging. Ayers says her mushroom project is just the start, adding she plans to earn a degree in biology and eventually save the planet. That's all for news this morning. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Governor Andrew Cuomo stated on Sunday that New York will be undergoing the most aggressive antibody testing survey in the upcoming week. As New York prepares to reopen the state, Cuomo plans to find an exact percentage of the population who has had or currently has COVID-19, a number estimated to be well over 8,000 people. Cuomo also believes that New York has passed the peak of the pandemic and we are now coming down, quote, the other side of the mountain. His statement is partially evidenced by the dropping hospitalization and death rates. In other news, uh, around the world, coronavirus uh, rates have been dropping. Um, honestly, I think this means that we're really close to the end of the pandemic, so start getting prepared to have a great time. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> mostly sunshine with a hint of clouds. The rest of the week should have some rain showers except for Wednesday which will have some sun and clouds. I'm Emily with your weather. Yesterday the first episode of the Michael Jordan documentary The Last Dance aired on ESPN. This is featuring stories from his life and career as a professional basketball player. Michael Jordan is considered by many to be the greatest player to have ever played the game. Also, due to new circumstances, certain professional sports leagues will be having games in June of this year, considering that no audiences be present and that the conditions of COVID-19 continue to improve. I'm David with your sports.